Sorry, I had to do that. I love that scene from Home Alone when Macaulay Culkin puts that um, aftershave. He's like, ah! <laughs> So, guess what? You guys are probably like, Damn! And, yes! Guess what? I had to go see if my Dollar Tree had any more Halloween goodies. The only reason why we went out is because I wanted, well, my husband wanted to spurge a little today and have um, pizza for dinner. Very bad for someone who's trying to lose weight, but sorry. I can work it off and get the calories and pounds off. So with other ado, let's jump in to this video. All right, so there's some things in here that aren't Halloween related, but most of the stuff in here is Halloween related. And <clears throat> so I picked up a bag of barbecue pork rinds because I absolutely love pork rinds that is the southern in me i can eat these as snacks and the calories for uh, let's see for six is 80 calories which is really good because i like i said previously i am trying to diet so i love barbecue pork rinds i even love the ones that are hot but i notice um Dollar Tree does not carry the ones that are hot. He picked up Juicy Fruit and Mike and Ike's. Those are his favorite candies. And then he picked up some dots. <coughs> and look at this cool box guy um he is a jack-o-lantern pumpkin whatever you want to call him all the black in here is glitter and then on around the edges it just has <laughs> hi it has bats and little um trick-or-treat sayings and stuff like that and then here's just the back and the inside is really cool, you guys. Look at that. So that's the lid. And then here is the inside of it with all the skulls. I was like, that is mine. I love skulls. If you guys have not caught on to that, I'm obsessed with skulls. And then for another snack, I love sunflower seeds. But the reason why I get the sunflower seeds that are already out of the shell is because I hate putting them in your mouth, letting them soak, which um, that's like the best way to eat sunflower seeds. But I just don't have the patience. So I just picked up a bag of unseeded sunflower seeds. And then here is. He needed a candy jar to put like his little dots and stuff like that. He sits it next to his gaming chair and he just picked up a little glass jar to put his candy in. So while he's gaming, he can um, just grab candy out while he's gaming. Like, hi, how many times do I need to explain that part? <laughs> so that is that bag all right as soon as i saw these i was like how freaking adorable this looks like something that you could get from target dollar spot or even a nice craft store okay excuse that um and these are four you get four in a bag and these are fabric treat bags and looking at the quality of these i'll open it up right now and show you guys The quality of this bag is pretty good. I mean, this is what you get, and then you get the little yarn right here to tie it up with. 
As soon as I saw these, I was like, cute, adorable. Those, these would make like little cute, um, like if you want to like decorate something in your house and kind of set them there, or you could even use them as a treat bag. And actually, that's what I'm thinking I'm going to do this year for kids is I'm going to make them little cute goodie bags. All right. Now, I saw a bunch of people hauling these, and when I actually physically saw them, um, the witch to me looked corny compared to the ghost. <laughs> so, I picked two of the ghost guys up, and these guys are <clears throat> light and sound. So, he lights up and he's motion activated. So when you walk past him or anything like that, he lights up and he screams, which I will show you. Super creepy. So that's cool. The reason why I didn't get the witch is because I thought she looked a little bit too corny and cheaply. And I just, I, I don't know, I wasn't feeling the witch. And then he picked up some more candy, of course. And these are by the brand Harbaro. I, I have no idea. And these are ghostly gummies. And yeah, these are the same. So he picked up some gummies because he loves gummy candies. And I picked up some Whoppers because your girl loves that malt. Malt liquor, no. And then he picked up some more candy. And that is that. And then we found some. So if I were you and you're wanting to start a Halloween village, definitely get to your Dollar Tree now because they are starting to put out um, Halloween village stuff. So I grabbed another one of these just because I already have one, but I just wanted to make sure um, if I want to add to it, I had an extra one. And then I did not pick this guy up last year. And I finally found him because when we went in there, they had everything but this guy. So as soon as I saw him, I picked him up immediately. And then here's the fun bag. Of course, you know I had to get some magnets. My last trip that I went there, they did not have any magnets yet for your refrigerator. And this says you can use like refrigerators, file cabinets, metal doors, locks, anything that a magnet can stick to. And I thought this was really cute. I just love how cartoony that the skeleton looks like. And then I picked up excuse me I picked up this box and it is a haunted house and all the purple areas that you see have glitter and stuff like that I thought this was super cool and then off to the side it just says spooky with spiders coming down and then on the inside blank on this one and then of course a skull peeking out and then on the back it just has the sticker and then it has spider webs so I thought that was super cool I don't really know exactly what I'm going to do with these yet but I just wanted to get my hands on them because stuff goes really fast there and it's not like they get the stuff back on a daily and then I picked up another box and this is a jack-o-lantern that's not all blacked out he's orange and then with the black on the inside is the glitter and stuff like that and then off to the side it just says well it says ghouls uh eek spooky and then it has all this got dracula skeleton frankenweenie Frankenstein, um, 
all that cute, wonderful stuff. And then on the inside, this has Beware with a spider. And to be honest with you, this is kind of what sold me, was the Beware sign. And then... On the inside, it just says pretty much of the same thing that it says on the outside of the box, but it is written in white. So that is that. And then, I was getting low on razors, and I decided to pick myself up another pack of razors. This is a six-blade razor and of course they're disposable and you only get two for a dollar and I can probably use these for like eternity like it doesn't I go through razors not that much because as soon as I use my razor I don't I throw it away because it still can be used anywhere from one to maybe four more times and then I picked up me one of him me one of him hi I picked one up for me and one for him and these are the Hershey's white corn or candy corn I cannot talk today holy crap so these are the candy corn and they are Hershey's white chocolate if you know me I would much rather have white chocolate honey if you know what I mean I'm just joking. White chocolate is one of my favorite um, types of chocolate. I don't like, um, like I'll eat chocolate, but I just, I don't, chocolate to me just has a really rich taste that my taste buds and stuff like that just can't really handle. And then I picked up um, Reese's Pumpkins. Super cool. And... I had to get some more shaving cream, so I just picked up the Pure Silk Rich and Lux Luxurious Shave Cream. And this is for Sensitive Skin Therapy. And that is that. I mean, you can't really go wrong with shaving cream. And then here are some more things for your haunted houses. Now they did not, they don't, my Dollar Tree didn't have any, I, that's not saying that yours doesn't, but um, our Dollar Tree did not have the haunted houses out yet, but they had all the little figures, so I picked this up because I can't remember if I have one of these or not, and then I picked her up because last year she was not there, so I grabbed her to make sure I had her for my collection. And then we picked up another one of these and because I already have one from the village I have and we just want to add to it and make it cool and awesome. So that is everything that I picked up from my Dollar Tree. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a big huge thumbs up and I'll see you soon in my next video. See you guys.